This is Our Lives. I'm Gwen Edwards. My guest today is doing her very best to keep Dr. Martin Luther King's dream of economic equality alive internationally. Dr. Roberta Hosky joins me now. She's an entrepreneur. Just released your first book, Poverty Curse Broken. Yes. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for having me. Uh, so far, you're off to a great start. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm very excited. The book is taken off, the message is taken off, so I'm very excited. Let's talk about this message because mm -hmm. it comes from a very deep place. Yeah. Here you were, single mom, mm -hmm. welfare, mm -hmm. sometimes homeless, mm -hmm. and you were able to turn your life around. Yeah. Tell the viewers about that. Yeah, so the name of the book is called Poverty Curse is Broken. It's the Roberta Hosky story. And, you know, what I want the listeners and the viewers to understand is that you can take the pain in your life and use it as your power. And that's what we ended up doing. I believe that um, what I went through in life, that it could have made me, it could have broken me, or it could have made me, and I choose to allow it to make me. And I believe that... Um, if it could be done in my life where I can go from literally from poverty to prosperity, literally from welfare to wealth, um, literally from homelessness to owning multiple homes, that if I can do it, so can you or anyone else. Mm -hmm. And for those listening at home, what can they do today to turn it around, that poverty curse? So what they can do is stop the negative self-talk. So we have this conversation that we have in our mind all the time. I can do it. I can't do it. I want to do it. I can't do it. I'm not qualified. All of this conversation, this invisible talk, we have to learn how to control that and then substitute it for positive talk. I can. I will. I, I must do these things. And that's what happened with me. See, my son was um, a black boy and I was afraid for his life. And when life becomes bigger than you, things, th things change. So for me, if I didn't provide a better life for him, his life could have been that of the streets or, or of my family. And so because I loved him, I had a, I will change his life. Tell us about this international push to get the word out that you too can change your situation. Absolutely. So um, God has evolved me and I'm doing being the uh, founder and chieftain of the Millionaire Mindset Sisterhood, which is an international faith-based sisterhood devoted to breaking what we call the poverty curse. We recently launched our first country, raised the first country of Dominican Republic. And it is amazing to see how the stories are the same, no matter what ethnicity, no matter what culture or country. All righty. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All righty. And we want to thank you for watching our lives and we hope to see you the next time.